Building an entire skyscraper in Minecraft can seem like an impossible task to do by yourself, especially in vanilla. But what you will quickly learn in this video is that it isn't as difficult as it seems, and with enough practice, you can have your skyscrapers transform from this to this. And what once required an entire team to create, you can now build in the matter of hours or even minutes. Here's how to build a Minecraft skyscraper in under one hour. Now, of course, if you were playing with World Edit, that will make this even easier. But as I said, we are doing this all in vanilla using vanilla commands. Start by picking out a few resources. I'm going to be using smooth quartz, so I will grab the block stairs and slabs. I'm going to use blue glass, so I will grab some of that and I will get some quartz bricks as well, and this will get us started. If you have a city block next to some roads, you can start there, otherwise you can just freehand it and start with a corner like this, and then we could have a window maybe three blocks wide, and then a two block gap, and then three block window, two block gap, and we will just extend this all the way the length of the building that we want it to be. So I think we will do something like this. We have nine windows here, three blocks wide, and those two block gaps in between them. Feel free to follow along with me if you want, or freehand it yourself. And we are going to design just the first floor and maybe the second floor. This will be 10 to 15 blocks tall before we begin with the rest of the pattern of the skyscraper. So we will make this symmetrical on all sides. And maybe we will have it be about half of the length here on this side. Before we carry on with this, it is time to talk about two commands, the fill command and the clone command. We are going to start with the fill command. If you have used world edit before, this will be very familiar. If not, don't worry, it is not that difficult. Now the way the fill command and the clone command work is it is a selection in the shape of a cube. Now you could do this on a 2D plane, such as this one block wide section, or a whole cube like this. And what we want to do is we want to target two opposite corners. So on this cube, we have this corner and that one, they are opposite of each other on all three of the axes, the X, the Y, and the Z. Same thing over here, opposite each other. Of course, this is 2D, so there is no third axis involved in this. But the way this works is we target the block, one of the two corners, and we will type slash fill. And then we will hit space and hit tab three times. That will show these three coordinates right here. We can hit enter. And then we go to the opposite corner, hit slash, hit the up arrow that will bring up our previous command, hit the space bar and hit tab three more times. Then you can fill with whatever block you choose. Now, there is no undo with the fill or the clone command. So you do want to be very cautious when you use this command, because if you fill, say, a house or something like that, there is no way to get that house back. So just for example, we will use Acacia Planks. We will hit that or you can start to type in whatever block it is you want. So Acacia Planks, we will click on that and we will hit enter and we will see that that will get filled in with our planks. The same thing for the cube right here. So we will target this corner and same thing again. And then we will go to the opposite corner up here, hit slash, up arrow, space, and we will select that set of three coordinates and we will do stone bricks this time. We will select that, hit enter, and this entire thing will fill in with stone bricks. It will not be hollow, it is a solid block of stone bricks. There are more in-depth features and additions for the fill command, but we don't need to talk about those today. 
The clone command is a little bit different, but once you get the hang of it, it is not that tricky. So say we want to clone this cube right here and put it on this block right here. This is how we are going to do our floors on the skyscraper. We will make one of them and we will clone it repeatedly all the way up until it is our desired height. So how do we do this? Well, we have eight different or four different sets of opposite corners. We have these magenta corners, the green corners, the yellow, and the orange right here. Similar to the fill command, we want to select two opposite corners. But the way the clone command works is it utilizes, I did not mean to take a screenshot, it utilizes the lowest value of all three coordinates. So that, when we open up our F3 menu, is where the little crosshair on the middle, the red, green, and blue lines, kind of match with the corner of our build. We will see that the red lines up with that, the blue goes that way, and the green goes up. If it is not aligned, we will see here the red is sticking out, up here all three of them are sticking out, and even on this corner where they fit, right here if we go to the top, the green is still sticking up, and right here the blue and green is sticking out, and so on. So we want all three of those lines to line up with that corner. That is where this will essentially paste from. So we will select this green corner by doing slash clone. And same thing as the fill command, we can just go ahead and select the set of three coordinates and hit enter. And then we can move to the opposite corner and do the same thing again with slash up arrow select those three coordinates, and we now have this cube selected. Now we line up that crosshair in that corner, and we can move, that is the corner that this will paste from, so we can move over to this red block, and when we target it and hit slash up arrow, we will type in those three coordinates, and there we go, it will paste in. Now, it will paste always from that corner, which means if we had a block right here, for example, and we were looking at this, it is going to paste right where we are standing. So if we do that again, we will see it is pasted right where we are standing. And again, that is how we are going to quickly build our skyscraper by just designing one floor and repeatedly cloning it all the way to the top. So essentially all we are building is the lobby and then one floor and then the roof. That is as simple as it is. But to do that, we can speed up this process a little bit. So say we want the lobby to be five blocks in height. Well, we can select this corner of the glass right here, use our fill command and fly down here to the opposite corner where we can punch in those coordinates and just type in blue stained glass. There it is, hit enter, and we now have all of our blue glass filled in. Again, easy as that. If we wanted to clone all of this quartz right here, or the entire bottom of the building, if we wanted to do that as well, we could select this corner, type slash clone, and we need the coordinates, there we go and then fly to this opposite corner over here. And once again, slash clone, up arrow, there we go. So we now have this first layer selected. Let's open our F3 menu, and we will see that it is going to paste in from this corner right here, where those three lines are in line with the build. And then we will just place a block on top of there, slash, up arrow, once again, those three coordinates, and there we go, we are now cloning our build to the height that we want it to. Every time that we type this in, we will have to hit the up arrow a couple more times because the previous two commands will be in there, so we just cycle back to that original command, and we will just keep doing this until we get to the desired height, which for us will be right here at five blocks tall. Now we can start to add in some additional details, including upside down stairs at the tops of these windows, just to give them some arches and make the building look a little bit more grand. 
You can clone these if you want, or you can fly all the way around the building and just place them by hand. And it is as simple as that. We will now go around these stairs with a row of quartz blocks. And there is our first floor lobby. So now we are going to extend these stairs out and we are going to have the floors above the lobby stick out a little bit more from the lobby itself. So we will extend these stairs upside down going out and these stairs are what we will build the next floor on. There we go, so that is five blocks tall. Again, if you are building this specific skyscraper, five blocks right here, and then a row of quartz blocks going around and stairs going around that. So now we get to design our floors that will extend all the way up. These will be completely symmetrical, so make sure you get a design down that you like. And I just kind of like to freehand it a little bit. I think we will do two block wide windows with pillars, maybe smooth quartz pillars for these. And I like to make sure my windows are symmetrical before I extend them all the way up. On this side, we will have a three block wide window in the middle and on the long side, we are going to leave this five block gap right here and we will not have any windows. This will be a solid quartz wall with some kind of stair pattern inside of it that will be determined in a moment. There we go and then we will fill in our blue stained glass in those gaps. And of course we are skipping these big five block gaps and using smooth quartz blocks instead. So now we have our base layer. We can go ahead and clone this. So again, slash clone, and then we will enter in the set of one coordinates, fly over to the opposite end, find that same corner on the opposite side, hit clone again, type in those coordinates, and we want to find where that corner lines up with all three of our lines there on the crosshair in the F3 menu. And then we can place a block on top and we will paste that in. There we go. And I think for these floors, we will have these be four blocks tall. Just like that. We will take some smooth court slabs and place these at the bottoms of each of the windows. There we go, and I did skip the five block section for now, and then we will place some upside down quartz stairs facing each other at the tops of the windows to round those off. As far as skyscrapers go, and here on this three block wide we can do the same and put a slab in the middle. But as far as skyscrapers go, this is about as simple as these designs will get. You can make these much more elaborate. We are just keeping it very basic as this is sort of an intro to building skyscrapers. But I have built many different skyscrapers in the past, all with varying levels of detail. And that is what makes city skylines very interesting when you have that variety of more basic skyscrapers mixed in with some more advanced designs. So there we go, all of our stairs are placed in now and we have these little arched windows and everything is looking really good. So now we can go ahead and add in the floor so that we can clone that as well. We will go with stone for now and we are going to continue to use the fill command. So we will do fill from one corner 
and go to the opposite corner on that same Y level. And we can type in the second set of coordinates and just punch in stone and hit enter. There we go, so the floor is now in place. And now we just need to make sure that we have this arranged the way we want it to before we start pasting in each floor. I think what I'm going to do is have a row of smooth quartz bricks going, or not smooth quartz, just normal quartz bricks going all the way around the build. Because what this will allow us to do is place in another stone floor right here and then we can clone from this block right here at the top down to the bottom corner on the bottom row of glass otherwise we would be cloning these stairs and we wouldn't be able to get any of the floor we don't want these stairs on every single floor this is only for the lobby so when you work on the lobby down below it can get a little bit different based on how everything is arranged but what we want to make sure is that we are not cloning two floors we just want to do one at a time so we are going to clone from this floor up here to the bottom of the glass and when we paste it in since we are pasting from the bottom of the glass that will land right on top of the chiseled quartz and that will be four blocks tall and then we will have a stone floor on top of it that also gets pasted in and we will just repeat that pattern before we do that though we do want to make sure that everything is all finalized including this right in here which we are going to do a fun design for so i think we will do maybe some stairs like this towards the middle we will wreck the row of bricks on top and we can have some smooth quartz blocks going up all the way in line with those bricks and have those stick back out sort of like an eye and then if we did stairs like this stairs like that and we filled in with smooth quartz blocks behind those I think that is what we will go with so we will have this pattern going up in the middle all the way to the top and again we want to make sure that we finalize this as much as possible so we could even go in between all of the glass right here and fill this in with smooth quartz blocks a much quicker way of course would be again using the fill command so go from this corner right here type slash fill and then punch in those coordinates and then go to this opposite corner down here but wait just a second because if you recall i mentioned that the fill command will it's destructive it will remove all of these blocks that is why before we hit enter when we type our smooth chords don't do not hit enter yet don't hit smooth chords hit the space bar hit replace space bar once again and type air this will replace all of the air blocks in our selection with smooth chords without destroying any of the glass and we will see that takes care of that we can do that one more time over here again target that block slash fill punch in our coordinates go to the opposite corner down here same thing smooth quartz but don't hit enter yet hit the space bar replace air there we go i have made a countless number of errors in the past by accidentally hitting enter before I was ready and then it would replace that entire wall with smooth quartz and I would have to go back and remove it by hand or just fill it with air and rebuild it. So whenever you use the fill replace command always just take it nice and slowly or again just build up by hand. So now our walls are all finished. The very last step before we start cloning all of our floors is filling in this floor slash ceiling right here with our desired floor material. Again, I am using stone for this. And now we should be good to start cloning. So let's find this bottom corner right here. Remember, we are not cloning these stairs. We don't want those stairs on every single floor. 
So we are going from the bottom of the glass right here, this bottom row, it should also have these slabs. Target that block, type slash clone, and then get your set of three coordinates. Go to the opposite corner over here. And again, get your set of three coordinates and go ahead and hit enter. And remember, it always pastes from the bottom corner where those crosshairs line up. So right here, this is the block it is going to paste from, which means if we were over here and we did slash clone and we hit those coordinates once again and hit enter, this whole floor would be pasted right here instead of on top of here. So we want to make sure that we are lined up. That is a very important step. Once we ensure that we are, we can just type in that third set of coordinates, hit enter, and there we go. We are now getting the floors of our skyscraper put in, and we can continue to do this all the way until the top. Now, a little tip, once you clone in maybe three or four floors here, you can reset your clone command to include all four of these floors instead of just one at a time. So again, we will target this top block and then we will fly around to the very bottom corner around here in line with that glass. And once again, get our set of coordinates and then we will fly back to that opposite corner because that is our paste location. Place a block right there to target and that third set of coordinates. There we go. When we hit enter, we are now doing four floors at a time. I guess you could continue to do this as many floors as you want, but you do want to have a little bit of control because once it starts getting pretty tall, you don't necessarily want to double it. Maybe you want to add just a couple more floors. So we are going to extend this up for maybe 20 or 30 floors in total, and then we will work on the roof. If you feel like doing some math, or if you paste in a couple of these clones right here, you can figure out how much your Y axis is changing. So we will see it's going from negative 16 to positive four to 24, which means we are going up by 20 every time. So instead of having to target a block each time, we can just add 20 to this coordinate. Now it won't necessarily be 20 for you. It might change, but you just want to find that change between each of your clones. Again, this goes from minus 16 to positive four. So that adds 20. And then we add 20 again to get to 24. So if we fly up here and look at this, I should be able to type in 44 and we will see that it pastes exactly how we want it to. And then I can type in 64 and once again, it pastes in how we want it to. I think that is a good height for this building. So not including the lobby, we have 24 floors on this building and we did that in the matter of minutes. I did just realize I forgot to clone this. I forgot to build this side, so I may just leave that alone. This is just an example building. I don't know that I will use this or not. Of course, I don't think it's all that bad, especially with that pattern right in there. It definitely adds a lot to it. So now it is time to work on the roof. If you want to get up there faster, just go into spectator mode and scroll with your scroll wheel, you can ascend much faster, or you could just teleport to the top. That works too. So now that we are up here, we can figure out a roof design. Now this is pretty open to interpretation. You can build these however you want. Of course, you saw in the thumbnail, I did a pyramid roof on that building. You could do a flat roof. You could do a pyramid roof. You could put a dome on this. You could even build this out a little bit more and have an additional floor that kind of sticks out, or you could go in a couple of blocks like this and then go back out a few blocks like this and have one more floor at the top so we kind of get that shape. Again, it is completely open, open to interpretation, so do this however you would like. I think the way I will do it is just keeping it very simple. We will do a row of smooth quartz going all the way around 
the edge like this on top of those quartz bricks. A set of smooth quartz stairs, a row of smooth quartz stairs going all the way around. And then I think we will just do one more row on top of it like that. So we will have upside down stairs and then right side up stairs. Same thing on this side. And if we fly back, it's definitely very generic, but I think it works. And there we go. That doesn't look all that bad. And what we can do to finish this off is come up here. We can go from this corner slash fill and go to this opposite corner over here, put in those same, that opposite corner of those coordinates, and we can fill this with gravel or something like that for the roof. Now you can decorate this how you would like. You can add antennas, spires, HVAC units, you name it. You could even put a rooftop patio on here if you would like. I'm gonna fly around to the more appealing side of this building with the design. And that is where we are going to end this tutorial. That is a very tall building. I hope this was easy enough to follow along and I hope it made building skyscrapers a little bit easier for you in whatever project you are working on. Again, this can help take a major large scale project with a huge team and make it manageable for just one person even without world edit or anything like that. If you enjoyed this tutorial, definitely hit that thumbs up button and make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on daily content as soon as I publish it. Check the description for some more important information, links, how to contact me, all of that good stuff. And with all of that being said, comment, like, subscribe, remember to stay optimistic, and I will see all of you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye!